Before I even begin this video, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to every single one of you who has donated to this GoFundMe account. Now we've almost hit our $3,000 mark. So if you get to the end of this video and you want to donate, click the link in my description below and let's help create a positive change and impact in not just one person's life, but an entire community's life. So two weeks ago, I made this video sharing a story about a guy named Sancho, who was my tour guide in Nepal a couple of years ago. The saddest part about this story was that he hadn't seen his five-year-old son in over a year due to flights from Lukla to Kathmandu being too expensive. And that's where the idea of Project Unite came about. It was more than just reuniting a father and a son. It was actually about uniting the community that I've been growing on this platform and across all my social channels to help a community that's also in need across the other side of the world. And it was to show that even the smallest act of kindness can create a positive impact and change in the lives of other people, whether you know them or not. So phase two of Project Unite was to physically and mentally challenge myself and bring someone along for the ride who wanted to push themselves out of their comfort zone. And the unlucky friend who said yes to this one was my friend, Alicia. I've got an idea. Okay. <laughs> of course you do. Now, going into this challenge, I really, 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 really underestimated how challenging it was actually going to be. And like all challenges, when you're faced with a crossroads and you have to decide, you know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to actually let you watch this video to see what happens. You look nervous. <laughs> Cuz it's you. How would you feel about walking 62 kilometers in a day? Well, I feel like considering I suggest we walk 40 kilometers, <laughs> definitely felt like knowing you, it was never just going to be my 40. There was always going to be a little mon additive. So, you know, why not? It's, it's Monville, like you have to do what Mon says. <laughs> you're like the fifth person that has said that to me. So you're in? Of course I'm in. I'm doing, we're doing this. Yeah. And I hope you're going to be like carrying me. <laughs> She's in ladies and gents. She's in. She's Did in. I have a choice? <laughs> no. You're in. Alright, sick. We're doing it. Oh. So this is just me as a person. I, when I know that I'm setting myself up for a challenge and it's going to be physically demanding, I just try not to think about it. That's my coping mechanism. So in this instance, it was a terrible, terrible coping mechanism. I actually haven't put the 30 kilos worth of dumbbells into my bag yet to see how heavy it actually is. Oh, no, 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 no way. I don't even really know why I said 30 kilos, to be honest. Yeah, I have two 10 kilos and two fives. I'm gonna put them in my bag and see how heavy this is gonna be, so. Wish me luck. I'm already dreading this. That'd be fine. Somebody gonna die today. Oh, my All right, 10 kilos, Ugh, 20 kilos. Five and five. Plus I have 2.5 liters of water. Alright, here we go. Oh my god. Okay. Holy f shit. Okay, uh, this is heavy. Oh my god. How did I not think there would be hills? I'm sweet. Okay. It's gonna be a challenge, but I signed up for this. 
And uh, yep, yeah, let's see how we go tomorrow. It's currently 4 a.m. I'm driving to where we're starting this walk down in Torquay. So this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be interesting. I'm as ready as I'm ever gonna be for a walk. I just hope my blisters on my foot hold up. But we got this, we got this, we got this. 62K walk, easy, pretty easy breezy. How are you feeling? Uh, just, a, you know, just a merry morning here. Mm. <sighs> This is the hardest part. Ah! <laughs> Whose idea was this again? Oh, I don't even know. Honestly, at this point, I think I'm just questioning. Oh, what's wet? I'm questioning every life decision I've ever made. What time is it? 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Found a sign to follow. Sorry, 4.58. 4 4.58. Let's do it. Mom's questioning life. <laughs> We are 7.5 k's in, it is still dark, and we've been walking for about an hour and 20 minutes. We only have, I don't even know how much to go, but... Hey, traveling! We're 10 k's in now. Oh my god, I'm dripping in sweat. Those hills, man. If we have to go up hills. Those hills. Yeah. It feels like we're in a drier Everest. And these stairs were the beginning of the end. I just didn't know it yet. Mind over matter. 20,000 steps by um, 8 o'clock. We're three hours in and we've knocked off 15 Ks. How are you going? Just, you know, living my dream. Aren't we all? <laughs> Son of a... Although the views are beautiful, I'm glad one of us wasn't dying. See, this is why you don't plan for shit like this. Because when this happens, you just go through it. You don't put yourself through the same stress twice. <sighs> mon, mon, mon. Oh, this is um, really hard. Twenty one days in, and I feel so sick. I feel like I'm gonna vomit. I don't know why, but I just feel ill. It is getting very, very hard at the moment. Ooh. By this point, I was physically exhausted. I felt so sick. I couldn't eat anything and I couldn't drink anything. And well, I made a realization in the process. This dumbass. Can't do math. 62 kilometers in a day is ludicrous. I d highly don't recommend. Do not recommend. Are you regretting this decision? I'm regretting every life decision up until this point. But you know, we're here now. We're not quite halfway. It is what it is. <laughs> At this point, I was fighting off the waves of nausea pretty well and was able to hold myself together pretty, pretty good. Until I couldn't, and I found myself hunched over on the beach, ready to vomit. Alicia will be taking one for the team and continuing this walk while all mate goes and vomits. And I've cracked my phone. Oh. <sighs> Shit happened. Got this. <laughs> Let's hope so. No, you got it. Oh my god. So I've been feeling sick. I've the whole the whole issue I had was I just felt like I had to vomit. I walked up the stairs, I took a sip of my power rate and straight away just started projectile vomiting. This guy in that car 
saw me vomiting and runs over and asked if I need an ambulance but honestly at this point I think I do oh my god I don't know what's happening to me <sighs> kids don't try this at home to be fair it would have been okay if I didn't carry weight I think it was the weight that absolutely gassed me way too quickly in the beginning and I just never recovered from it <sighs> oh well you live and you learn hey this has ended for me in a way I didn't expect it to I made it to halfway and my body just gave up on me. I don't even I don't even know what happened. I couldn't even sit here and explain how quickly it happened. It just completely shut down and I am now sitting here. I don't even know where I am right now, but I'm waiting for James to come and get me and take me home because I've thrown up twice now and It is what it is, hey. We can't really predict for these things to happen and when they do, you just need to evaluate and assess the situation. And for me, I have a lot more important things body-wise to concentrate and focus on that if I kept pushing myself, which I probably could have, mentally I could have, um, but it would have meant that I would have suffered severely physically. So I made the call and I made the decision and I was really disappointed in the beginning because I thought, oh, I've let people down and I've let myself down, but it goes back to that whole expectation thing that when you put that expectation on yourself and you don't even really know why you're doing things, that's when it gets really, really shitty for you. If I could have kept going, I would have kept going, but physically, I just, just wasn't my day today, which is fine because Alicia's taking one for the team and it's a good lesson. It's a good lesson in trusting yourself and trusting and knowing your body. And it's also a good lesson in, you know, you don't really fail if you learn from things. And I've learned a lot. So. Bloody hell, Mon, where are you now, hey? Oh, yeah. Feel the burn. Already done that set down there. Now we've got this set. So, <laughs> I'm at Bells Beach. I think it's about eight kilometers left. God, I hope so. It needs to be under 10, I tell you. <laughs> Gonna head on back to the car. Thank God, my feet are killing. Oh God, less than a kilometer to go. Really digging deep. And quite a lot of freaking pain. <sighs> Come on, people. Nearly there. Fucking did it all 62 kilometers and god am i feeling them oh yeah thanks guys for all your support i got there change starts with one small random act of kindness and the kindness that i have been shown throughout this entire process and this entire campaign of project unite has been overwhelming and to know that there are some really, really good and beautiful and kind human beings out there that are willing to just help a stranger out, it honestly warms my heart. So thank you for making it to the end of this video. And like I said in the beginning, if you want to donate, even if it's small change like $5 or $10, the link is in my description below. The GoFundMe campaign actually ends on March the 28th when we get to call Sancha and let him know that We've managed to raise the $3,000 to help him be reunited with his son and also help his small community in Whitworth.